episode with you I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of healthy junk food or healthy snack options and I got these snacks at Sprouts I wanted to go somewhere where I know Amazon will have it that way I can set up the links and you can find them all at Amazon so it's really exciting to see all these different uh, snack alternatives that we now have available because I remember when I first started like my healthy living my you know when I tried to get healthy and lose weight a lot of these options we didn't have and it's pretty exciting to see this movement you know certain ingredients being kept out and um, different alternatives for like sugar or even flour so how I'm categorizing healthy um, is number one ingredients needed to be cleaner in the sense that I don't want any MSG, sugars, you know, corn syrup, the artificial colors, artificial sweetener. The second thing that I was looking at were the nutritional facts. So what were the macros? The fat, protein, carb ratio, and you know, what made up the carbs? Is it sugar? Is it fiber? Protein too, you know, is it cheap stuff like soy? And then the third thing that I was looking at were the serving sizes because you know your girl loves to eat you know the bigger the serving size that I can eat the happier I will be and I want to make sure you get to eat a lot I just love to eat <laughs> and you know just to do you guys the service I'm gonna be trying them just to see if they're good or not and if they are then you know I give them a thumbs up if not then it's up to you whether you want to try them. We all have different likes and dislikes. All right, let's go. The first one are these toasted flackers seed. They're called toasted flackers, and they're seed crisps. I liked it because of the ingredient list. It's super clean, super simple. That seemed really interesting to me, so I'm gonna give it a go. You know, they're not bad. They do taste pretty seedy. I mean, I would eat them. These would taste good with like hummus or some kind of dip. Ooh. Next, I found these crackers. I thought they were super cool. They're cauliflower crackers. For sure, it's way better than what is out there. This reminded me of Cheez-It. Oh my gosh, right when you open the bag, Smell like fart. <laughs> For sure, smell the cauliflower. At least that's good, you know. It's not false advertisement. Let's give them a taste. Mmm, that is good. Kids will like these. The next one are the butternut squash crackers. They're the same company, um, but instead of cauliflower, they use butternut squash. It says serving size 44 crackers. This. That means these macros are for 44 crackers. That is intense. Honestly, this is this one doesn't have a strong taste. It's pretty mild. And it would be just like a really good snack alternative. Especially for little ones. It has a vegetable blend in it, which is pretty cool. The nacho one did taste better. So the next one, they're sun-dried tomato basil almond flour crackers so this right here is the ingredient list and the nutritionals for it yeah pretty clean the 17 crackers holla mm. let's give it a girl a girl let's give it a whirl mm. Mm. oh yeah these are really good and then i also bought the plain ones i actually also bought the sprouted seed 
uh, in garlic and herb. So, if we look at the ingredients, it looks pretty good. And macros look pretty good. Okay, so these are the garlic and herb. Yeah, those are good. Mmm. You can taste the garlic. This one's like thicker in texture compared to the ones, the other ones that I tried. Those are really good. Okay, next. The next ones to try are gonna be the chips. The first one I'm gonna try are these coconut flour tortilla chips. So these are the ingredients and the macros. Good source of fiber. So let's give it a taste. These are pretty good. And then next, I think it's like the same thing. It just has Himalayan salt. I, I got it just because it was buy one, get one free. So, eh. Might as well. So let's taste it. I like those. It definitely has a nutty taste to it because of the coconut. Uh, but I really like it. Next, we're gonna try the cauliflower tortilla chips in sea salt. It's the same company that made the butternut squash and the cauliflower crackers. Mmm, nice and salty. Those have a nice toasted uh, flavor to them. You can taste the cauliflower. They're really good. Those would also be good for like any kind of dip or with cheese. And the last chips that I got were these plantain chips. These chips are chili lime. I was the most excited for these. These just look so good. And I love spicy stuff, so. Well, that was disappointing. The chip is good, but it is not spicy at all. Doesn't have a lot of flavor, but we can fix that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna try are the sweets. So I'm gonna first try the cookies. It's an interesting name, Fat Snacks. Two servings per container, but a serving size is only one cookie. This flavor is double chocolate, so let's taste it. Mmm, mm-hmm. It is for sure very like creamy and fatty. You can taste it in the texture. It's soft, but it has a good flavor. I like the chocolate chips in it because it gives it texture. Pretty good. And then let's try, I'm assuming then that the chocolate chip, I'm sure the chocolate chip will taste very similar. So let's taste the chocolate chip version. And that was, the first one that I tried was double chocolate. Now I'm gonna try the chocolate chip version. Those are kind of dense, but they're good. Um, the, I like the double chocolate better than the chocolate chip. They're good though, they're, they are soft, so if you like crispy cookies, that's not the one, but I think it would satiate, it would satisfy that sweet tooth craving. So next, we're gonna do the chocolates, and these are the, well first let's try these two here. This one's pretty, this is, this brand, is pretty popular. I know uh, some you know health gurus here on YouTube promote lilies. I'm really interested to try them. Um, these chocolates are interesting because they're sweetened with stevia. So I got salted almond and I also got salted caramel for any caramel lovers out there. Caramel, caramel, however you want to say it. Let's try the salted almond milk chocolate first. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. The texture is creamy, like it says. It is sweet and the salt, honestly, just the salt just makes it taste sweeter. So it is pretty good. And then next, we're gonna try the caramel version. It's like a hint of caramel. That's pretty good. Okay, this one here is pretty interesting because it's, um, this one is cacao, 
and it has almonds and it's also sweetened with monk fruit. So let's give it a taste. It has more of like a bitter, like a bitter raw chocolate taste to it. It is sweet. The lilies I feel like is more typical like chocolate. This one here, just you can taste the cacao and it's just bitter. So I like it. The last thing are these smart, these smart sweets. I'm, I'm not gonna eat them because I know what they taste like. Um, the only thing is that it, since it is made with the prebiotic soluble fiber from tapioca, it has a bunch of uh, dietary fiber. For me, these kind of upset my stomach. These are good. I like to just eat a few, but just be careful. Also, if you like the cheesy flavors, you can always give nutritional yeast a try. Alrighty guys, that's all the healthy junk food snacks that I found. I hope you enjoy and I hope you try them out. They're all for the most part pretty good. I'm happy that there's more options out there for us. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!